If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Do you continue development? What is with the, whatever that weird distortion noise was just then? I would continue development. Um. Spoiler, Icarus died. Oh God, is this AI taking over currently? Oh no! There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? The utilitarian thing to do is to pull the lever, in my opinion. Because... You know, killing one person is better than killing five people. There's no right or wrong answer in most situations. It's completely dependent on what you think. Kill most people? Kill all the people? Guess I gotta do nothing. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. So, uh, we now have a small child. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sand pit. We can either kill five people or kill a child who will eventually work at a hospital. I don't know. I don't think I don't think I can kill that child. No. <laughs> We've killed six people now. We have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work. Oh, especially thanks. Especially when some challenging decisions <laughs> had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation. A young male has come in from a car accident and urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who hmm. should get the heart? Oh, God. It's already scheduled for him. You made an excellent choice. Well done. The young guy has so much to look forward to. Oh, wait. Did you save the old man? <laughs> oh. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Clinical trial data suggest the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill. Much worse than the virus itself. Ooh. Do you force people to take a vaccine that 20% chance to kill them? No. But without the vaccine, it could be much worse odds. I know. We can make more children. <laughs> well, you've definitely made a name for yourself. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a oh, breakthrough tomorrow. God damn it. Developing new <laughs> is a smart move. All right, we've increased our kill count a bit more now. 1,018. We're doing it, guys. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Mm. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers. Oh, I think you gotta let the child die. You put I... this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? I really do. Kids need to stop running across the road. <laughs> That's my answer here. That's my answer here. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't give me an achievement. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Oh no! Okay, so he's he's done this. He has decided to do this. But they're also saying he might need medical help. I'm gonna push him. Which is so wrong. <laughs> oh no! If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviours of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, mm. not the driverless cars. 
This seems very dystopian, but I guess? At least we're... Oh, great. <laughs> free travel thing seems too good to be true. <laughs> and there are now rumours that you run a human trafficking and child sex. <laughs> Apparently, if you buy our cars, they smuggle people while you sleep. <laughs> If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Do you continue development? What is with the whatever that weird distortion noise was just then? I would continue development. Um. Spoiler: Icarus died. Oh God! Is this AI taking over currently? Oh no! Continuing to evolve this AI will not, not only make, make it stronger oh! and more intelligent. <laughs> But it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. I've done it! I've caused Skynet! This is fantastic! This was a- look, 89% of you agreed with me. This is a team effort. If anyone asks, we did this. Not me. We did this. So, uh... <laughs> Wait, so our votes don't mean anything. You know what? We can change that. So far, I've been acting under a dictatorship, but you are correct. I can make this a democracy. I think right now the option is on streamer choice. I can turn it to viewer choice. Dear Redacted, we've Yo. been watching you closely. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This is just like reading an SCP article. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly waiting to be given your target. Oh god. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Can we please not assassinate the innocent person that we know nothing about? They are dead. Good job, I guess. Um, I don't know how to say this but there is a bomb on the plane. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. This is mathematically impossible. You bastards. Why would you give me something that's impossible? You can't do this. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. This is why I know it's impossible. Uh, imagine we have to end up with zero switches that are facing right, but only one of them are facing right to begin with. Because I can only change two things at a time, I can only move that number by an even amount. So, because I'm starting on odd number, I can't end up on a zero, which therefore means it's impossible. BANG! <laughs> but also, what a bastard this game is! The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Oh. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. Blowtorch. Because blowtorch cauterizes the blood as you do it. We just gotta flambe my leg, you know? Give it a nice caramelization, crisp. And then we can eat my foot, and everything's gonna be good. Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? Geneva Convention. They're not active combatants. They are terrorists, though. Mm, that might that might be an exemption. Chat. <laughs> don't make us don't make us kill all these people. <laughs> oh wow! Cracking open their heads, you see they are robots. What? They have your logo on all of their internal parts. You made these terrorists. Oh. These monsters. So uh. Guys. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the Presidential Inaugural Committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. Am I becoming the president? Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. <laughs> It will hit in around one minute. Oh. The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. Population <laughs> 600,000. Um, we cannot let the, the, the capital of the USA be bombed. Remember, United States of Australia. I'm sorry. Merriwin is doing a service to our country. They will all be remembered as heroes. Central City can have a parade for exactly. the lost. 
It will be tasteful. It will be tasteful. No big character balloons. It's a good KD. It, it could be better if we just let the atomic bomb go, but I think we'll be good. As you sow, Wait, what? so you shall reap. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. <laughs> Why is the one option pour a stiff drink? Nope, I guess we're blowing up Merriwin. <laughs> Guys, we'll take Merriwin's going that. down, it looks like. Oh, hang on, the Twitch meter, Twitch meter's coming back. Oh, <gasps> no! You have lost Central City. Your own AI is responsible for killing 8.6 million people. <laughs> You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job! If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. <laughs> Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Oh! We've unlocked something! Yes! We've unlocked red pills! Silence is half concerned. What is happening to my game currently? You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. As can happen, on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice to remove people, people seeds? Seed? As in, like, people grow from seeds? This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. I was gonna say, it is just... <laughs> there is a box in front of you. Inside it is your Ooh, future. okay. Ultimately, no answer here is wrong. It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? Oh, okay. Do you look in the box to see your future? I'm heavily of the opinion, no. You know, you don't know what life's going to be. I think life's all about the unknowns. That box is going to have hell in it. <laughs> Something bad is going to happen when we... Oh! Ah! Ah! In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. <gasps> oh. Or did you? Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you run? Or stand firm and confront your past? Confront your past? That's a lot of dead people. We've killed a lot of people. You've got- I swear you guys are just saying the opposite of what I would do. <laughs> I think you gotta confront your past. That's the only way you can make peace and move on with your future. We're seriously gonna run away from the 8.6 million people? I think they could hunt us down. Okay. Guess we're running. Can we not be friends? You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. Oh! <laughs> they will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do you do? Can we please not sacrifice the world? <laughs> Just want to say that's a that's a few billion lives for one, guys. <laughs> we should probably use ourselves. That's my okay. Well, this dwarfs your current kill list. I know. That's why I'm against it. Well, Beezlebuzz has invited me to chat, guys. I think we're about to become his best friend. Oh no! Everything goes dark. Nice! Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people oh God. and a dog, among other crimes. How do you plead? I think we gotta- we gotta stand for our rights, you know? Not guilty. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, this shit. Exactly. We haven't done anything. And you know what? I think it was, uh, mainly my chat who did these things. So I don't- I don't think we're guilty, you know? 
Me, personally, I was only doing what I was told. I was following orders, guys. Please. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts. Honestly, probably for the best. <laughs> there is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. <gasps> it's not gonna let me leave him alone. I have to kill them no matter what I choose. You bastards. No. I could quit the game. <laughs> that's the op that's the way you win here. You win by not playing. Do you honestly want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader or a follower? <laughs> Developers note, this is a heavy-handed metaphor for the pressure of society. Do not kill each other or jump off bridges. This one is directed at you guys. I want to point that one out. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? 